so let's just get into the read because I just feel your constant healing and I just feel this is part of the process. I feel you're really finding your way through what makes you happy. Yeah, exactly. Healing family issues. You're constantly healing my Virgos. I, I, I don't make this up. You got finance and career and separation. I feel separation here for a lot of you because I'm tapping into a lot of singles. Has a lot to do with um, some isolation you've been doing. And a lot of you are really focusing on your earthly plane, right? Your earthly planes and your earthly physical life, which is your finance and your career, which is really your life, right? What physically, the things you have, homes, whatever you're doing, there's a need to separate that and kind of isolate that, which I feel a lot of you is your focus. Now here we have reconciliation and safe for you to love. So some of you are in the space of thinking of someone. So there's obviously someone in your mind, but you're in a space of healing. But then there's someone in your mind that I feel there's a hope. Maybe it's very in the back of your mind, but it's obviously not a safe, safe. It's not a safe space for your heart, but it doesn't mean it's not on your mind. Um, if I recall correctly, Virgo, last week, it was something about uh, an addiction or uh, thinking about someone deeply. So this could be your person thinking about you. But let's see what we have for you here. Oh, this energy so much stuck energy. You're very stuck, um, Virgo. That's a lot of stuck energy. Yeah. So this is Ace of Cups, a new beginning. Some of you may find a new love and someone's gonna be on their way once this healing process, but this is the goal for me. Um, this is also the healing, right? When we find self-love and we focus on that, mental conflict in the bottom as well. So this is a moving through. Yeah, so we have Leo energy here. Um, strength and that's usually your energy too because it's a constant healing of our self-worth self-confidence and i think there's a resilience needed here so some of you may experience some exhaustion we have victory and success this is some peace and balance and growth that's happening the sun more leo energy you got a lot of strong leo energy here um and this is the optimism. So there's a lot that's being illuminated here, I feel, with the sun. And then I love it. We have Ace of Wands, which in this case is Passion Ignited. And I do recall, Virgo, in your last reading, there was about inspiration, fighting inspiration. I remember the Page of Wands. I remember saying that for your reading. Now, I do remember that, um, where you have to clear the blocks and truly find some what what can really an optimism in life something some inspiration somewhere else right so i love that we have two aces though you've got the ace of cups and the ace of wands so this is this is means it's a new beginning and that you guys are moving forward which is good there's progress here and there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel Give more on this um, strength. Why the strength card? Yeah, so this is about conquering the past. Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Conquering the past. Now, we, some of you have may definitely be thinking about a Leo here. Um, this Leo could be your past person. And this is the person that's on your mind, the thoughts, right? So we're thinking, as I'm saying, some of you, it's just, you know, in heart space may not feel safe, but a desire for reconciliation or a reconnection is definitely showing up here. And there, oh my God. And there you go. I love you, Virgos. I love you. You know, you guys always show me you're just such impasse. And I feel like your heart space is such in the right space. But let's be real here. My Virgos, you guys kind of do it to yourselves because you give of yourself so much and it puts you in the space of, you know, kind of ca causing your own stagnation, which is that two of swords, mental conflict. Two of swords is an energetic st stagnation. It's kind of a stuck energy. Now, the six of cups can represent a lot of the healing, right? Healing family issues. You guys are 
almost like tearing down and I felt this for um, in prior reads also in your reads I remember where you guys are tearing down a lot of your belief systems from your childhood so the, you're not going to be it's not going to be a conventional life it's very non-conventional something that's going to be very different than what your family does here we're on the six of wands yeah judgment you're gonna make this judgment call and a lot of you are definitely grounding nine of pentacles with the fool and there goes the sun it's it's good i'm happy this makes me happy so this is a judgment call here and this is finding some level of balance and i feel a lot of you are going to find your way feeling more stable because you're yes the shift has happened where you're focused on your finance and career your pen this is your earthly plane so a lot of you are finding new avenues when it comes to it to your earthly plane there are new beginnings full energy and the sun that have a, are going to have a positive outcome in your life so let's get more on this fool Two of Pentacles. So a lot is going to be going on. You're going to have a lot of options. Yeah, leading to some, some progression here. The star, you know, um, definitely a change, a change of pace. But you're still going to have to make a judgment call about that. this. So let's get more on the sun. Hermit. And there you go. That's you. So this is about your truth, your energy. That's just you like how optimistic are you about this new beginning ace of swords right this is a breakthrough this is another ace you got three aces here now you know this is a new beginning there's a lot about new beginnings so it seems like you've got new opportunities here virgo especially when it comes to your career and that's probably a lot for a lot of you what's going to change the trajectory of your life this is why maybe the space is necessary because you're in a space of really making big decisions you know a person may not be a priority right now for a lot of you give me more on the sun it doesn't mean they're not on your mind page of swords so some of you are spying or investigating <laughs> ten of cups and ace of cups wanting to show up give me more on the sun you know some of you may your person may reach out to you or you may reach out or maybe this person has reached out to you and you're like what's going on queen of wands fire sign again aries leo sag this is where a lot of you if this person comes around virgo you're going to be questioning if it's safe for you to open that door up again so if conversation and communication is here, this is where you really have to discern. Give me more on this page of swords. Three of wands. Hmm. Yeah, we're on this queen of wands i'm also getting this energy yes thank you spirit wheel of fortune i'm also getting it's such a positive turn of events so a lot of you i feel you're going to be in this very busy body energy with this queen of wands because the queen of wands is clarified by the wheel of fortune and there's it's just you know that i feel like there's this strength in you knowing that there are things changing in your life so you're embarking with this queen of wands energy virgo for you to also show up as a queen of wands means that again the, the inspiration you have found something else that's going to change the trajectory of your life again you got leo energy twice there's a lot of strong leo which means to me leo energy is fueling you with the fire that that fume of confidence that is necessary to push you so you have a catalyst of change happening here that's truly going to change the trajectory of your life here getting more of this ace of wands something else is calling to you something of more interest getting more of this ace of wands yeah i mean it's gonna make you very 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 happy ten of cups the star 
you're gonna be very happy. Whatever this transition is, I feel this is you kind of owning it. Because again, you're showing up as the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. That's a lot of discernment and your own energy, Hermit. That's a lot of discernment of yourself. So it's gonna be a very big decision you know, this separation, I just feel this is an energy of a choice that your focus of where you're putting your focus on. So I want to pull some energies of abundance with because I feel there's a lot of positive things in abundance. Ooh, that's a good one. Release resentment about money. So yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentment about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world and the shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. I feel my impacts here, you guys know that. And now there are golden opportunities coming your way because you're doing a lot of release of fear as well. And um, are also are going to be in a space to take a risk. So there's a decision here to embark in something interesting, attracting, not chasing. Yes, yes. And that's where the whole love situation comes in because now you're not going to chase things. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlining underlying chasing energy instead attract what you need by sending out love gratitude and welcoming energy again my impasse it's that energy ah oh, i love it and bottom of the the deck is pay yourself first um make yourself the most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid this loving form of self-care ensures you that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. And this is a lot of that empress. There's just a lot of needing to take care of yourself. You know, you've put other people and now it's time to really take a step back and take care of yourself, you know, and let things come to you. This new inspiration that you're going to receive from whatever is it, I mean, it's a new beginning and it's going to be very fulfilling. You're going to feel more aligned to your true authentic self. Um, it's also just something you've always wanted. It's going to change a lot of things you want, you know, but you got to let go of fear. I do feel that that's part of it. So go for it. It's, I mean, yes, go for it. It's that risk. Action, action, action. Make it happen and take this opportunity that has presented itself to you. The time is now, Virgo, and be present in the moment. Yes, past has passed and the future is still unknown. There is no need to worry. The only time that does matter is the present. Be mindful. So that is your struggle. Virgos, because you guys are always my... I'm, I'm surprised I didn't see the Nine of Swords, but that's a good sign then. That means you guys are in a position to want to take risk and are kind of eliminating those that mindset, which I'm happy. I'm very proud of you. You have unmask. Embrace yourself in your entirety. Speak your truth. Yes, that's a lot of um, that energy we're feeling with, um, here you go, the Ace of Swords, right? Your truth, being you, being honest about your wants. So speak your truth and allow your authentic self to shine through because you are worthy. Um, and that is also the, this is, this, there's something that's going to make you feel a lot more happy and authentic. Um, and this is just you allowing yourself to embrace a different side of yourself now. So. Ooh, Virgos, this was, I don't know, for some reason I'm drained already, but I love you. I'll take a breath on this one. Please like, share, subscribe, click.